Chinese scientists have for the very first time discovered a new lunar mineral and they've named it Chang'e Site Y after the moon goddess for which the lunar probes are named. China is now the third country to discover a new mineral on the moon. The news was jointly released by the China National Space Administration and the China Atomic Energy Authority today on the eve of China's traditional mid-autumn or moon festival. For more of this, let's now bring in my colleague Yang Zhao to talk about these new findings. Well, hello there, Yang Zhao. It is indeed some exciting news, especially before this very special, uh, you know, special activities. So tell us more about those details. Well, exactly. China has released research findings on the lunar samples brought back by the probe Chang'e 5 in late 2020. And this is Chang'e site wide, a phosphate mineral found in lunar basalt particles. It's, it's a sixth new lunar min mineral discovered, and Chinese scientists isolated a single crystal particle with a radius of about 10 microns from 140,000 sample particles and interpreted it's a crystal structure. And we're still waiting for further details from the scientists and team, but we know the creation of the mineral is strongly related to the temperature, uh, pressure, elements, and the surrounding environment. So the finding of this mineral we have never seen before can reflect the unique environment conditions on the moon. And also the, the research team announced this morning that China has for the first time determined the concentration of helium-3, a future fusion energy source from Chang'e 5 uh, lunar soil samples. So Yang Zhao, why, why the scientists are becoming so fascinated with lunar soil? Well, that's a good question. Simply speaking, lunar soil is our gateway to the old secrets of the moon, earth, and even the sun, for example, uh, China, uh, China's Chang'e 5 lunar samples were collected from a basalt area on the moon known as Oceanus Procellarum, and this is the region formed by lunar volcanic eruption billions of years ago. And that means those samples come from deep inside the moon in ancient times and when volcanoes were still active within the moon. And we consider it alive with a dynamo working. And currently, we consider it dead as it was burned out and cooled down. And lunar samples may tell us when and how the process of cooling down happened and as well something about the future of our home Earth. And also those samples hold secrets of the sun. Because unlike the Earth with its protective magnetic field, the moon has been exposed to the bombardment of solar wind. So particles ejected from the sun will be buried in different layers of lunar soil and that will give us the chance to learn changes to the sun during the moon's existence.